What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We are about to get into Krishan. Um, she went live last night, and she is basically going on a promotion for Blueface's Getting Out campaign right now, okay? Um, she is listening to his music on the live, literally promoting his music, so I will not be playing the sound <clears throat> on this video. Now, first of all, she got her hair done you know, she's glammed up for him because apparently he's getting out soon, right? And I mean, like, he was supposed to get out last night soon or he's getting out today soon, okay? So he will be getting out soon. She's listening to his music right now, like I said. If y'all want to listen to it, go watch the live on Hot Tea Hot Chocolate because y'all know I'm not getting a copyright for anybody. So with that being said, I have a couple questions for y'all that I want y'all to answer in the comments. Do y'all think that she is going on this promote Blueface tour because they're about to start doing something together? And when I say doing something together, I Crazy in Love 3 might be crazy, but Crazy in Love 3 would be ideal. Now, Bonnie it keeps saying Crazy in Love 3. Blueface ain't said Crazy in Love 3. Krishan hasn't said Crazy in Love 3 either, so I'm joking. Take a joke. However... Do you think they're working on something together so when he gets out, they'll be able to launch that? You get what I'm saying? Krishan does everything for a reason. Everything, right? And sometimes whether that be a good reason, whether that be a bad reason, she does it for a reason. So do y'all think that they have a show coming? I really, really want to know what y'all think about that. Do y'all think they have a show coming not with Zeus? Like, Blueface already started promoting his show. But I mean, like, do you think that they have a show coming with something? Like, they could do it with Snapchat, to be honest with you, because Krishan got something going on with Snapchat, which would put Blueface in position to work with Snapchat. Now, I feel like Blueface has all intentions to uh, get a piece of that bag, get a piece of Krishan's bag. Because, see, Krishan found out a different way to make a coin. Blueface, not that he didn't find a different way, but his thing is music. You know, Jaden, you go out, perform, we get money from shows. Um, we put this, we stream it everywhere, we get money from the streams. That's his, that's his lane. Even with the TV, he didn't really care for it, but he did it anyway. Don't get me wrong, he has different lanes, but Snapchat is a different bag, okay? Snapchat, when Krishan says she make like 100000 a day or something like that. She's she she may not be lying, y'all. Snapchat is 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 buying people. Snapchat is retiring people right now. Okay, um, that's why all your favorite uh, Instagrammers are your favorite YouTubers. They're all on Snapchat. Queen Clarence, um, Chris Crazy Ass should be over there. Um, DDG Hallie, all the actors, all of them, aside from the ones that's just not hip, they're over there. Okay. So with that being said, I'm just wondering, would this be the reason? Because if not, she just would be doing it for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section below. All right, y'all. That was going to be short. I need y'all to watch the rest of this. Uh, the lies he told. So this is part 17 through... Um, Girl, don't have me lying. I have this half, and then I'm going to have another half. Now, in the video, um, I got a, um, a allergy attack out of nowhere. I mean, sneezes started punching me in the face. Um, I don't know what happened, but, yeah, I got beat up. So, you know, I'm just giving y'all a forewarning, girl. You know, things happen. I know some of y'all over there sniffling and sneezing, too. So I just want to put that out there. Uh, but y'all enjoy this. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. All right. In the evening, I said, impossible. He missed my son's graduation <sighs> because he said he was going to be working. Y'all mm -hmm. didn't have enough people on shift. She said, oh, we have a full staff tonight. He told us that um, he was leaving for the night about two hours ago. So two hours ago would have been like 430. The graduation started at like five. Y'all, my allergies. So I up. said. Oh, boo, let me let me let me call him. So she's standing right there. The restaurant pet. It really wouldn't even know where to sit in there. So I kind of pull over to the side of the door. 
I make a phone call. He don't answer me. Mm. Loop. Called again. Loop. Forwarding my calls to voicemail. I said, baby, do me a favor. Bring me y'all restaurant cordless phone. <laughs> so I called him from the restaurant phone. He picked up <coughs> on the first phone. <coughs> Hello, this is Jared. <clears throat> I said, where the fuck you at, man? Where you at, nigga? Yo. <laughs> babe, babe, babe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, babe, babe. I had to go. Yo. Y'all, first of all, my allergy is about to take me up out of here, girl, but I'm in the building. I can't I can't go nowhere. Honey, so I can't bring me a Zyrtec right now. Two to two in the chat. <clears throat> then she almost had me choking in the damn gush. <clears throat> what the f*** you at, man? <laughs> that nigga was up under some booty. Do you hear me? Not only that, though. Now she expected him to act right after she whooped him with an ironing board. Oh, Sam's to get something for the restaurant. I said, you a cold case live. I said, these people done told me that you done got off two hours ago and you missed welcome graduation for what? What the f*** you at, man? And I'm going in. I'm going in in the restaurant. The lady said, Mrs. Such and Such. Mrs. Such and Such. Okay, 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 okay. I said, you lying. You a lying ass I said, but don't worry about it. I'm going to get your ass when we get home. Don't worry. I got you. I'm going to get you when we get home. It's crazy, friend. I hung up that phone. I said, baby, I appreciate you. She said, can I get you a water? Can I get you a salad to go? Can I get you anything? I said, babe, I don't have an appetite. That man done lied to me. I said, Give me a shout of Johnny Walker Black, please, on the rocks. I said, is there any chance that y'all would have needed something in their kitchen? Any chance that y'all would have needed something in their kitchen? And he might have went to a local Sam's or a Kroger and got some ingredients or something because that's what he told me. She said, ma'am, Jared told us that he was going home for the evening. We are not expecting him to come back. He is gone. When I called him on that cordless phone, they I could hear the wind gushing in the background like he was. He had his window down in his car. So he was off for show. Sure. But I have no idea where he was or wh who he was with or what he was doing. According to him, he was going to Sam's Club because the restaurant needed something in the kitchen. Part 16, the lies he Part 17, the lies he told. So now I'm on the phone with my cousin and I'm like, man, let me tell you about this shit. So we talking, we talking, we talking. And I told her, I said, man, I, I ain't going to lie. Between the drugs, between the lying, between all of this, I got to get out, man. I really got to get out, but I got to figure a way out. You know, one thing I will say, and this is a little piece of nugget. God already gave you your way, girl. Or any woman out there. I know that I kept saying in these parts, but he was paying all the bills, but he was paying all the bills. Sis, you can pay your own bills. Since you was already paying your own bills. Ain't never letting another nigga pay my bills again. You was already paying your own bills is the bad part about it. I'm sorry. <clears throat> You're not going to take away my piece. This, because this was too much. This was the straw <laughs> that broke the camel's back. So I get back home and I ended the conversation with my cousin. I get the baby together. I put him to bed. By 9.15, he calls my phone. I answer I say, what's up? He said, babe, uh, I'm at Fish City Grill in Pearland. They needed some help out here. You want something to eat from here? I said, no, thank you. He said, all right, babe, I'm on my way home. I said, okay, cool. I fell asleep before he got home because he probably made it anywhere between 11, 1130. And I never brought it back up again. But it always stuck in the back of my head that he probably was somewhere with some doing whatever the fuck he wanted to do or he was probably somewhere getting high don't even know and it's a one of the two now, but or both of it's the fact that he even lied to his place of employment because well i would have lied you, to them too you told them folks that you was gone for the night i don't even know if they had a gm on the floor that night so it was not gotcha he was a gm it's me so this whole time, I have not heard that he was Jim. I'm thinking he work in the front. On call. Um, 
I got a phone call within that same month from my cousin and she was telling me that her sister wasn't doing too well. She said it wasn't going to be long before we would have to make arrangements to get ready for a funeral. My cousin was young and that was a really tough time for my family. Rest in peace, cuz. So I dealt with, with grief before anything. I dealt with grief. So uh, I told him, I said, babe, you remember my aunt when we went to Mississippi? He was like, yeah, babe. I said, well, her daughter, the one that lives with her, ain't doing too well. I'm going to probably have to go to Mississippi at some point. He said, okay. Whatever you need. I said, I'll probably just need you to make sure the baby cool. He said, oh, all right. No. So <clears throat> no. I got that phone call one day while I was driving into work. So that'll come back sooner or later. Oh, shit. And I'm sorry, y'all. I get emotional on certain points because I'm, I'm really not over her yet. I'm really not over that yet. So, um, one morning, about five in the morning, I I get up, I'm getting dressed for work, like a normal day. And I notice that one of the phones, one of his phones is laying on the couch. He's in the bed. I don't Why know. do you do this dumb shit? He was trying to get caught. What made me, but I did. I went through the phone. Again, I went through the Chase banking app. Why? Huh? I was concerned at some point because he was making, he was still making all of the bills, but he was also out of nowhere giving me extra money, whether it was extra money to get my nails done extra money to get more wigs because I'm a wig finesse, you know, whatever the case may be. He was just giving me bread, just giving me bread. And I kept saying, where are you getting this money from? And he told me, he said, I got a bonus at work. I don't really think restaurant GMs get bonuses, but I mean, what do I know? During the time, I thought that was truth. And um, I went through that Chase app. And the same day, that he was getting a deposit from Fish City Grill for his job. He was also getting an unemployment check from the government. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he pulled it off. And I will tell you that the entire time that I knew this man, even up until now, he has never filed taxes, never filed taxes. I have no idea how he's getting away with this at this point in time. So I took screenshots of that. I said, okay, he getting unemployment. But I also go to his cash app. And I noticed that he is making a lot of transactions to the weed man. Mm. But these transactions are being beginning to be between 350 to 550 a week. Ah. Oh. And I said, okay, I know that he doing weed and I know he doing the pills or whatever, but man, I thought, you know, me and him had talked about it. I told him I was like, you know, No, hey, you beat him with an iron. I know what you said about the drugs. Ning but board. You're gonna have to quit him. He did come home one day and he told me that he wanted to quit. This was before I found the stuff on the phone and he said I, I do want to quit but um I'll I'll go to a therapist. I'll I'll go to a therapist. I believed him. I also went to his T Mobile account and I also found out that he had been on the phone with this one number the entire time that he'd be at work. Sometimes the conversations were six hours long. Sometimes mm. they were nine hours long. And some of the mm. conversations were occurring while I was at work and he was at home. And I, I did not know who the number was, but I screenshotted it too. 
Like, I, you know, I took a picture of it from my phone, from his phone, you know, or whatever. I questioned him about it all. I said, you know, what is going on? Again, he got upset. He told me ain't no reason that I need to be going through his shit. Well, it's a reason. I said, we are married, Jared. You got to tell me what's going on. Because now you fuck with the government. Well, hello. What you got going on, player? Like, what's going on? Again, he started this shit up by leaving the house, not coming back. Anytime we got into an argument, he would leave the house and wouldn't come back for days. <clears throat> so I said, all right, man. At this point, I really do got to find me a way out. I, I really do. So I asked him, when I asked him about the phone calls, he told me, he said, you told me to get counseling. That's my therapist. Ooh. I said, what's the therapist's name? Because you're on the phone with the therapist for nine hours. Who Who's the therapist? He gave me some bogus ass name. And he also was the type two. When I found shit, he said, you figured out. You the one that want to know. The, the, the answer to the question. Well. He had that type of attitude. Once again, head between the washer and dryer. Tearing that ass up. I don't, don't, please watch your mouth and watch your tone when you're talking to me. Because by that time now, I'm not. Head in between the dryer and the washing machine is crazy. A lot and it break my heart. I had become abusive physically. I most definitely did. Damn. Part 18. The lies he told. So. Soon after I got that information, confronted him about it. He said what he said. He did what he did. I started thinking in my head of solutions to be able to financially uphold this house without this man being here. It was going to be tough. It was going to be tight. But I said, <laughs> I will start packing that money down for the next three to six months. I'm going to stick this thing through. But I need to at least get a good six months of rent under my belt so that I can be comfortable with this savings account. Because <laughs> I already knew that if we split, Sorry, uh, <clears throat> there was a possibility that he was not going to immediately pay child support, even though I was going to put his ass on there. So <clears throat> I got the phone call that my cousin passed. Mm. I went home before the funeral. I went home the day that she, that I got the call about her passing. <sighs> I went home to be with her mom, my aunt. I stayed there with my aunt until my cousin traveled with her family from North Carolina. When my cousin came in town, I think I spent the next night at home, like in Mississippi. And then I flew back to Houston. He was here with the baby when I went home. But when it was time for the funeral, which the funeral was during the week, I told him, I said, I know that you have to work. And when I go home, I'll probably be home for maybe two nights max. But when I go home this time, I know since you're working, take the baby to my cousin, which I call aunt because she <clears throat> is like an aunt to me. She helped me when I first moved here to Houston. I said, take baby to him to her in Fairfield, in Cyprus, down there by the outlet mall. If you know where Fresno is, you know that from Fresno to Cyprus Outlet Mall is a good hour drive. That's a far drive. I said, so just go ahead, take him over there. When I get back in town, I will go and pick him up and then I will bring him back home. He said, it's my fault, y'all. I didn't take no, um, no Zyrtec. Whatever you need, I got it. You know, I know that you got to go home for this. I said, okay, thank you so much. The day came where I got on the plane and I flew to Mississippi. My cousin, which is my aunt, keep in mind now, I call my cousin my aunt, but her son was living with her at the time. And my cousin is around 36 and four. The story purposes, we're going to say his name is Dwayne. Dwayne is at home with my aunt. And Dwayne is going to be the one that goes and get the baby from the car from my ex-husband. 
So I'm on the phone with my ex-husband. I've already landed. I wouldn't have left that child there with him. In Mississippi. I'm on the phone with my ex-husband and I say, hey, have you pulled up? You know, have you pulled up on my aunt? And he said, yeah, babe, I'm here. But um, what apartment you say she in again? And I said, don't look for the apartment because Dwayne is outside. He said, Dwayne? I said, yeah, my cousin Dwayne, that's her son. I hear the exchange of the baby. I hear him saying, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm, I'm Jared. I'm Dwayne. I hear all that. And so I hear Dwayne saying, come on, little man. He got him. He closes the door and he say, all right, babe, I dropped him off. I said, thank you so much. We end the call. I'm at home dealing with my family because I just lost my cousin. Girl. At this point, don't piss me off. Okay. Because I ain't no telling what I'm going to do. Because when I lose somebody like that, that was close to me, don't say nothing to me ill. Don't do that. That man contacted me that night while I was sitting in the same home that my cousin was living in. Uh. I never forget it. And he texts me. My aunt was on that couch. My cousin's mama was on that couch trying to rest. Because she had just lost her, her, her baby daughter. That boy texts my phone and he said, How 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 is uh how 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 is how are they related to you? Talking about the cousins that he dropped the baby off with. I said, That's my family from Mississippi. He said, but I'm saying though, how how what what kind of relation is it? Are y'all first cousins? Are y'all second cousins? Are y'all third cousins? I said, um, that that would be my mom's, the nerve if to I'm ask not me mistaken, questions. second cousin. And granted, he can't ask questions because that's his child. But, you know, you don't remember you, you was looking at me and I was looking so disgusting. See, I don't forget stuff like that. Now, we're texting. I don't forget I stuff said, like that. why? He said, because I've been doing some thinking. He said, let me find out that that's not your real family. And what you going to do? I said, so who, who the f else would it be? You think I'm just going to let my baby go with anybody? I said, man, quit playing with me, man. Don't don't start that. That's what I said. I said, I don't know what the f wrong with you. You probably off them street pills. <laughs> don't text my phone with this shit. I'm grieving right now. That's what I said. I promise you. I said them exact words. And he says, just let me find out. Mm, said it again. I called Dwayne up. It's probably 11 o'clock at night. I said, what you doing? He said, uh, shit, playing a game. I said, what the baby doing? He said, in there with my sleep, bet. I said, man, this nigga, he, he texting me with that bullshit. Now, Dwayne probably been out uh, at that point, maybe roughly a year. So he fresh out. Oh. One thing that I want TikTok to know right now is my family, my family, it run deep. I'm going to tell you now. So it, it, it is hard for you to make idle threats or to talk shit because somebody in the family going to see about you. Damn. I told him, I said, man, that man has contacted me and he, he talking crazy. And uh, I know you don't really know him, but I'm just letting you know he know where, you know, y'all live. So just be on the lookout. If he's trying to come and get the baby, don't let the baby go with him. Because I'm going to be honest, I did not, I really did not trust my ex-husband with my baby. Hell I no. Hell no. And so he said, oh, that nigga ain't coming over here. He not coming over here. What I didn't know <laughs> is that Dwayne, in the course of the conversation, he asked me where he worked at, where my ex-husband worked at. And I told him, I said, now at this point, y'all, he had left Fish City Grill. Now he had Grill Burger. Off of I-10 and Katie. I said, man, he work off, he walk, he work at uh, Grub Burger. He said, what time they close? I said, I don't know, man. I don't know. He said, don't worry about it. What I did not know is that the following day, Dwayne called up there to Grub Burger and asked for Jared. And he told him, he said, man, uh, this Dwayne. He said, Dwayne. He said, yeah, Dwayne, the one that got your baby over here. Oh. He said, oh, yeah, man, what's going on? Everything okay? Do the baby need something? Y'all need more diapers or something? He said, no. He said, but um, I just wanted to call to let you know that 
my baby cousin and call me. And I don't want to have to come and see about you. Damn. So leave it alone. I don't know what you think the f is going on, but that's family. So leave it alone. Jerry calls me going off. Man, your cousin and called up here. Now it's my cousin. Now it's my cousin. Your cousin and called up here talking about woo, 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 yada, 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 acting just like Jody is from Baby Boy. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. You told that nigga that I said, I said, I ain't told nobody shit. Now, at this point, now I'm playing your game. Now I'm lying. Okay. I said, I ain't told nobody shit. I said, but I told you, stop playing with me. Don't play with me, sir. Don't do it. I'll catch you up on the next part. We waiting part for it. I want to know. The last. Yo, I got to answer questions real quick, man. Let me bag up. Let me bag up, man. While I'm trying to do the parts to all of this, I just keep going back and I keep looking at some of these comments and I'm like, man, these people are silly. Y'all are just as crazy as I am and I love it. <laughs> I love it. And y'all, when I get to the end, I promise I'm not going to hold you long. Like I told you, it probably... Oh, shit. Why did that keep happening? Yo, I got to answer questions real quick, man. You were negative from the beginning. I guess I'm not going to hold you long. Like I told you, it probably will not be 50 parts. Um, but I, I, I definitely want to thank every single last one of you, even if you were negative from the beginning. I thank you because it is impossible for me to withhold this now that now everything has opened up for us black women to be able to tell our story. So once again, I truly appreciate you for being here. One thing that Ain't I no do problem. want <clears throat> to um, say to everybody that has been asking, Jared is a cancer. That boy's birthday is in July. Um, I can't remember. Oh, I do remember what day. July. No, nah, I ain't going to tell Because y'all going to look that nigga up. Y'all going to get me. Y'all going to get me. No, 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 no. He is a cancer. He is not a Gemini. I am a Scorpio. Here's the fact that I got on down. Here's the fact I got on down. Okay. Uh, second thing. I am originally born and raised in Jackson, Mississippi. I graduated from Southern Miss. With my master's, I graduated from uh, Bell Haven. And next month... I walk with a doctorate. So I will tell you fully educated, but sometimes I don't have the best sense when it comes to men. And to be honest with y'all, I do have a whole nother situation that my mom told me I do need to share with the world as well that happened after Jared. So stay tuned for that because if I tell that story, that shit gonna really blow. I, I'm sorry, but I mean, at this point, it's no stopping me because my mouth... The nerve of you to have another situation. Big anyway, I might as well go ahead and tell all my because <coughs> I told y'all this much. <coughs> Period. Uh, another thing that I want to say... A lot of you guys are misconstrued about the story because either y'all not y'all are not listening or y'all listening too early and y'all haven't watched clarification videos or y'all have not watched me go into further detail about what is going on. So uh, take your time, watch these videos before y'all comment because some of y'all are so confused, but y'all only on part one or part two. It's part three and part four and part five where I start really getting into the meat and potatoes of shit that I said in part one and part two. So I understand if you're currently confused, but try to go and watch, go to the page and watch. Another thing that I want to say, excuse me, I do not have enough followers right now to do a playlist. I absolutely don't. So until, and I, and I could be mistaken, but I Googled it. Until I get to 10,000 followers, I am unable to make a playlist so you guys can further be able to scroll these you videos. You got to be at 10,000 now. I apologize. No, no, no. Oh, this old, because she do have a playlist now. TikTok stuff, so I'm sorry. Um, I did forewarn you guys a long time ago Shit. that there was probably going to be a whole lot of use of profane language. I'm simply just reverting the story, well, retelling the story. So uh, I apologize for, you know, ears that don't know me to use this kind of language, but this did occur almost four years ago. I'm in a new light now, but I do need to tell this story the way that it happened. I really do. Another thing I want to clarify, his mama was not a medical doctor, a physician when I met him. I am not downplaying registered nurses at all. What I am saying, though, is that during the time that I was with that man, his mother was a registered nurse. She was not a doctor. She was not a nurse practitioner. She was a registered nurse. Now, she was going to school to be a nurse practitioner, but she did not graduate, I don't believe, until 2021 or, or something like that. Most of the time when I'm talking about this woman, this was in the year of 2020. 
So I don't want nobody to make it seem like that I'm disrespecting the medical field. My sister is a pharmacy student, so I don't do that. I got an aunt that's a registered nurse. I, I have a cousin that's a doctor. I, I, I ain't shitting on nobody in the medical field. Okay. I, I, I appreciate you guys. You guys held me down on both of my babies. So we're not going to even play that game. So don't even sit here and play like I'm, I'm down in anybody in the medical field because I'm not doing it. I'm simply telling the story. That's all I'm doing. Now, That's all she can do. Another thing that I also want to say is um, I have seen several comments about how um, nobody wouldn't have never wanted to do this until Miss Risa Tisa stole, uh, uh, you know, uh, did her story. You are absolutely right. Because a lot of us did not have the balls to do it. But Period. it ain't even about me trying to blow up. <laughs> when that woman affected me the way that she affected me, it was beautiful. Because I cried even when she didn't. Because some of her story is my story. Mine run a little deeper. But at the end of the day, I was more foolish. I was a fool. Yes, she was. Most definitely. So I don't want y'all to get too comfortable with trying to compare the two. We are two beautiful black women that were hurt, traumatized, and we're still trying to heal. So three, three, three in the chat. I just wanted to put that out there. I wanted to make sure that you guys understood what it is. Uh, again, I apologize if a lot of these these things that I say are vulgar. But uh, it's, a, it's a part of the story. So um, continue to buckle your seatbelts. Let's get back to it. Period. Yo, I got to answer questions. That real. was a good pause. 